A Virginia University that allows concealed firearms is stepping up to help a student who was kicked out of school for leaving his shotgun in his truck. We first told you about Cole Withrow and the Free Cole Movement at Princeton High School. Angelica Alvarez live from Princeton with the latest. Angelica. Tisha, as soon as Cole Withrow remembered he left his shotgun in the back of his truck, he tried calling his mom to tell her to come and get it, but instead he was arrested and then kicked out of school. Since then, hashtag free Cole has helped earn him support online and from someone hoping to make his future a little brighter than his present. Free Cole. Free Cole written in t-shirts, cars, trucks, everywhere. So we're here to fight for him. It's been quite a week for Princeton High School senior Cole Withrow. On Monday, he faced being expelled for having a shotgun. On Thursday, he gets an offer to the university of his dreams. Just like it was meant to be. In what you may call a twist of fate, Jerry Falwell Jr., Chancellor of Liberty University in Virginia, happened to be in town. He turned on the TV and saw the free coal story on the news. That he was arrested for having a shotgun in his truck because he had gone skeet shooting and forgot about it. But it was Cole's story and his clothes that caught Falwell's eye. I noticed that he was wearing a Liberty University t-shirt. He called the honor student himself and offered him a scholarship to Liberty University. So he was ecstatic. That news came out almost the same time as the superintendent's news to allow Cole to graduate, but under certain circumstances. He has decided to modify the mandatory 365-day suspension and allow Cole to attend what we call our safe school or alternative school and graduate from there. Those close to the family say that is not an option and are still fighting for Cole to be able to graduate with his class. And his attorney, we're told, does plan to appeal that decision and is discussing his options with his client. Live from Johnston County, I'm Angelica Alvarez for ABC 11 Eyewitness News at 10. Amazing.